Why do most YouTube video reviews of Disney resorts completely or almost completely ignore the cost of staying at Disney resorts? Isn't that important to you? To know approximately how much your stay at a different Disney resort will cost you before you decide? They do that because determining the cost of staying at a Disney resort is complex, very complex. Hi, it's Dan from Nancy and Dan Travel. And in today's part two of our four-part series on comparing which of the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts is best for most adults and seniors, we tackle head-on the complexities of comparing how much it will typically cost for you to stay at one of these Disney resorts. Of course, you will never know the exact cost to you until you or your travel agent actually makes your reservation. Yet in this video, we will do our best to simplify the complexities of Disney pricing and allow you to compare the approximate differences in the cost to stay and some of the differences in guest rooms at different times of the year between the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. For most adults and seniors, the cost of a vacation is almost, or just as, or more important than, any other metric or reason to select this or that Disney resort. Now, let me ask you, is there much difference in the cost to stay in the same type of room at the same time of year at Disney's Contemporary Resort and Bay Lake Tower, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, or Disney's Wilderness Lodge, Copper Creek, and Boulder Ridge Villas? This video may surprise you. Be sure to stay to the last chapter at the end for our summary scorecard of the different types of rooms and times of the year. Because there are so many different types of rooms at these four Disney resorts, we're going to simplify things for our analysis. Most of our analysis, we're going to use Disney Vacation Club points. There can be several different prices for the exact same Disney hotel room at the exact same Disney resort at the exact same time of the year. And Disney can change these prices without notice. By using a Disney Vacation Club points based comparison, we have more consistency between the four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts because if a certain type of DVC villa costs, say, 25 DVC points for a specific night, in a specific type of room, we can directly compare most of the time to what exactly the same type of Disney Vacation Club Villa will cost in DVC points on the same specific night in each of the other three Magic Kingdom resorts. It makes the comparisons very easy. We're going to compare the cost to stay between a standard view DVC Villa or room to the cost of a preferred or the best view available. We will compare the cost to stay in a Disney Vacation Club studio to that of staying in a one bedroom unit. And as far as time of the year, we'll compare the cost to stay typically among the least expensive time of the year to stay at Walt Disney World, that being in September. And we'll compare the cost to stay in the same type of room with the same type of view at each of these four Disney resorts at amongst the most expensive time of the year, that being on Christmas Eve. Our first cost comparison will look at the number of Disney Vacation Club points for a one night stay, in a standard view studio room between a Saturday in mid-September and Christmas Eve. On the left, we have the number of DVC points to stay in a standard view studio on Saturday night in mid-September 2024. We can see that in this case, Disney's Grand Floridian in orange costs the most at 20 DVC points, while both Disney's Contemporary in dark blue and Disney's Wilderness Lodge in light blue cost the least amount of DVC points for the exact same room on the exact same night at 16 points. Over on the right, we see that this time Disney's Polynesian Village Resort in dark green cost the most DVC points for the exact same room and view on Christmas Eve at 34 points, about 70% more than Disney's Grand Floridian on a Saturday in mid-September. And once again, both Disney's Contemporary in dark blue and Wilderness Lodge in light blue cost the least for the Standard View Studio on Christmas Eve at 26 DVC points. Now, let's keep all the variables the same, except let's change from a Standard View to the best type of view. Now, the best type of view at Disney's Grand Floridian and Contemporary Resorts for a DVC unit is called a Theme Park View, while at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, it is called a Lagoon View. It is important to note that the DVC rooms at Disney's Wilderness Lodge called Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge Villas, have only one category. They do not have a standard versus a lagoon or a theme park category of DVC units. At this resort, you can make requests, never guaranteed of course, on which specific DVC room you would like to stay in. 
Yet we believe this is a fair comparison because, for example, you could get a room at, say, the other three Magic Kingdom Disney resorts that overlooks a parking lot. Yet, at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, you could get a DVC room that looks onto a pathway, or one that looks at the pool, or one that can face Magic Kingdom and see the fireworks at night. So, with that out of the way, let's look at the comparison. On the left are the bars showing the number of DVC points for a Saturday in September in a studio in each resort's best view category. Here once again, Disney's Grand Floridian in orange cost the most DVC points at 27, which is 35% more than the 20 DVC points needed for a standard view room at this resort. As well, this time Wilderness Lodge is alone at the lowest number of points needed to stay at 16 points. Over on the right, on Christmas Eve, Disney's Grand Floridian costs 47 points to stay in a studio with the best view, 74% more than staying on a Saturday night in September, while the lowest to stay on Christmas Eve is again, Wilderness Lodge Boulder Ridge at 26 points. Now let's put some dollars to those Disney Vacation Club points to see the estimated cost per night to stay in a studio in mid-September on a Saturday night compared to Christmas Eve. We will use $22 per DVC point, which is what DVC owners will charge to rent their Disney Vacation Club points at these four Magic Kingdom resorts. Some charge more, some charge less. We use $22 a point. We will start to compare the cost for a standard view studio. On the left, once again, we see the dollar cost to stay on a Saturday in September with Disney's Grand Floridian in orange coming in at the highest at $440 for one night with both Disney's Contemporary in dark blue and Wilderness Large in light blue costing around $352 for the one night. Over on the right are the estimated costs for Christmas Eve in a standard view studio with Disney's Polynesian Village, again in dark green, the most costly at $748 for the one night, while Disney's Contemporary and Wilderness Lodge Resorts the lowest at $572 for the one night. As we did before, let's keep all the variables the same except let's change the room view category, except of course for Wilderness Lodge as we discussed previously, from a standard view studio to the best view category. The cost to stay in the best view category studio at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, still in orange, on the left, on a Saturday in September, approximates $594, while the lowest at Disney's Wilderness Lodge in light blue at $352. Over on the right for Christmas Eve, once again, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa is the most expensive at $1,034 for one night, which is 80% more than the $572 estimated cost to stay for that Wilderness Lodge. What do you think so far? Is this helpful for you? Are you surprised at the cost differences? Pause the recording and add your thoughts in the comments to this video, then return to view the remainder. And if this analysis is helpful or interesting to you, please share the video with your friends and also please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you're not already a subscriber to our At Nandan Travel YouTube channel. Both help our small channel, so thanks very much for doing that. On to the next cost comparison of the Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. Let's look at the cost for a one bedroom at these four Disney resorts using once again for consistency, Disney Vacation Club points. We'll start with a standard view one bedroom. Now notice the question mark on the chart for Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. This is because it has never had a one bedroom DVC unit. They are all studios, which has been a major drawback for large groups staying here. As you likely know, presently, Disney is building a Disney Vacation Club tower to be part of this resort with expected occupancy starting late 2024 or early 2025, and it will have one, two, and three bedroom units. Since no information is available at this time from Disney on the number of points needed, we cannot include this resort in our one bedroom cost comparison. If you look at the remaining three Magic Kingdom Disney resorts on the left, it costs the most DVC points to stay on a Saturday night in September at Grand Floridian Resort and Spa in orange at 41 points while Disney's Wilderness Lodge is the lowest at 31 points. On the right, showing the number of points needed for a one bedroom with a standard view on Christmas Eve, once again in orange, Disney's Grand Floridian costs the most number of DVC points at 64, while once again, Disney's Wilderness Lodge costs the least at 47 points. What about a one bedroom either September or Christmas Eve with the best view? In this situation, on the left, we see once again in orange the one bedroom 
with the best possible view, costing the most points at Disney's Grand Floridian at 48 points for the one night. While once again, Disney's Wilderness Lodge being the lowest at 31 points. Over on the right, on Christmas Eve, Grand Floridian at 76 points tops the group, while Wilderness Lodge requires the fewest number of points at 47. Quickly then, let's turn this around and let's look at what this means for the actual cost to rent Disney Vacation Club points for a one bedroom at three of these four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts. The standard view one bedroom on Saturday night in September, over on the left, will cost approximately $902 at Grand Floridian in Orange, while only $682 over at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Over on the right, on Christmas Eve, the same one bedroom with a standard view would cost approximately $1,408 at Grand Floridian, while only $1,034 at Wilderness Lodge. What if we wanted our one bedroom to have the best possible view? Then prices will go up, as we expected at two of the three Magic Kingdom Disney resorts that have presently have one bedroom DVC units. On the left, on a Saturday night in September, the one bedroom with the best view possible will cost us approximately $1,056 to rent DVC points at Disney's Grand Floridian in Orange, while only $682 for the same one bedroom at Wilderness Lodge. On the right, representing Christmas Eve night, the one bedroom with the best possible view overall, once again, in orange, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, costing about $1,672 to rent DVC points at $22 a point, versus $1,034 at Disney's Wilderness Lodge in light blue. Let's change gears here for just a little. Let's say we're not staying just one night. Let's say we're staying for a week-long, seven-night stay especially seniors who are retired and have the time to stay longer. What would our approximate cost to be to rent Disney Vacation Club points at these four Magic Kingdom resorts for a full week? First, let's compare staying at either a studio or one bedroom for a week with a standard view. Here we now see the relative estimated costs. Starting on the far left, Disney's Grand Floridian in orange prices out at approximately $3,080 versus Disney's Contemporary in dark blue and Disney's Wilderness Lodge in light blue at an estimated $2,464 for a standard view studio in September for a full week. This compares to $5,236 at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort or $4,004 at either the Contemporary or Wilderness Lodge for a week at Christmas in a standard view studio. Over on the right, we see prices going significantly up as these two groups of costs for a week's stay represents a one-bedroom standard view. Here, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, the estimated cost for a week in September to stay in a standard view one-bedroom tops out at $6,314 approximately for the week, while only $4,774 approximately at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. This compares to $9,856 approximately for a standard view one-bedroom for a week at Christmas at Grand Floridian in orange, compared to $7,238, again at $22 per DVC point at Wilderness Lodge. Curious if we'll see the estimated cost exceed $10,000 for a week stay in a one bedroom at any of these resorts, having the best possible view? Let's take a look. Once again, starting on the left, in orange, Disney's Grand Floridian estimated cost for a studio with the best possible view comes in at approximately $4,158 for a week in September and $7,238 for Christmas week. This compares in light blue to Disney's Wilderness Lodge at $2,464 in September versus $4,774 for Christmas week. Over on the right are the estimated costs for the best view category for a one bedroom. Disney's Grand Floridian tops out an estimated $7,392 in September compared to, and there it is, an estimated $11,704 for Christmas week. Staying in a one bedroom at Disney's Wilderness Lodge for a week in September costs an estimated $4,774, while at Christmas week, it's approximately $7,238. Now we'll add in this last comparison because I know you are curious. So was I. Here, we will not use any Disney Vacation Club points, but straight cash room. Yet it will be a room on the concierge or club level access hotel room since all four Magic Kingdom Disney resorts have them. It will be for one night, not a week, but one night 
on either a Saturday in September or on Christmas Eve. And since there are several different concierge or club level room types available at each resort, for simplicity, we'll look at the starting prices for a concierge or club room access guest room. Prices go up from there. Here, no surprises that Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, still in orange, tops out at starting approximately $1,472 plus taxes on a Saturday night in September, compared to starting at $2,114 on Christmas Eve. Disney's Wilderness Lodge concierge or club level access hotel rooms are the most economical, starting at approximately $902 plus taxes, etc. on a Saturday in September compared to starting price of $1,224 plus taxes on Christmas Eve. Aren't you glad you asked? Now you know. Time now for our cost comparison scorecard. It's no surprise that Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa shows all red and it is the most expensive for studios, one bedrooms and concierge club level rooms with the exception of the standard view studio and Christmas Eve. That distinction goes to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. As well, we see all green as it was consistently the least costly for studios and one bedrooms for September and Christmas Eve for Wilderness Lodge. Part three of our continuing series of Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts looks at subjective factors which influence the vacation experience by adults and seniors at Magic Kingdom Disney Resorts. Some of the discussion may confirm or may conflict with the objective resort comparison from part one and this cost comparison in part two. Again, feel free to share this video with your friends thinking of going to any of these four resorts as it may help them in their decision making process. Remember, if not done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks to our current subscribers to at Nandan Travel. We appreciate your support. And don't forget to provide your feedback in the comments below or join the discussion at the Disney for Seniors Facebook group. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.